Hi, welcome to Zach of All Trades. I'm Zach, and today I want to show you how you too can make a square cut with a handsaw. Stick around. First off, let's talk about why. What's the big deal? Why does my cut need to be square? Let me give you this little illustration. Focus. There we go. I've got this little protractor set at 91 degrees. One degree off of square. If you cut a 2 by 4 edgewise and you're one degree off, you might not even notice the difference. But let's just say you're cutting something larger. Maybe you're doing some timber framing or something of the like. And you have maybe a 4x4. Four four. Of course, this is a surfaced 4x4, four four, so it's, what is it, 3.5 by 3.5. But you'll get the idea. Same protractor. Let me show you 91 degrees. All right. Okay. Let's go across the length of this guy, or width rather. Now, the width of that 4x4, four four, there's some difference from one side to the other. And that is in one degree. Now bear in mind that that is in effect either horizontally or vertically. If your saw is off this way as you're cutting, that's going to throw things off as well. Let me show you how to not do that. So this is going to start with just some basic sawmanship items. Sawmanship. Is that a word? I don't know if it is or not. It is now. So the first thing you want to do is you want to mark where your cut is going to be. It seems elementary, but it gets overlooked often. So you want to mark your nice square line. But you're not done there because you need something to guide your eye off of right here. So mark that surface as well. Now while we're at it, we're also going to need something to guide off of back here. So really what we need to do is mark three surfaces. We don't really care about the bottom because we're not going to be looking at that. So with our three sides marked, it should be easy, right? Just take your saw and follow the lines. Well, it's not quite that easy as you probably know if you've tried to cut a square cut. You can see very well right here. You can watch this line. You can even watch this line. But what you can't see is that line on the back. And if you're perfect on this line, and you've obliterated this line by cutting through it, you can't really see what's going on with your saw back here. So I've come up with a method to sort of guide that. And I haven't seen this anywhere else. Uh, so at least in my mind, I think I've invented it. If you've seen somebody else do this, please... Uh, feel free to correct me, but uh, like I said, I feel like I've invented it. And I will say right at the outset that there are some pretty well accepted ways, methods of using a handsaw. Some angles you're supposed to supposed to cut at something like about a 45 degree angle as you go across your material. And the beginning of my little method here is going to somewhat go against that but it will come full circle back around and you'll see where it's going. So since I can't see what's going on back here on the back side of this board and I don't want to be looking here and trying to look here and looking here and trying to look here the whole time, that'll give me a neck ache. What if we had a guide, right? So I've just ripped this little stick uh, with the same kerf width as my saw. Imagine if you will that we have this little guide back here on the back side so that while we're not looking at it just that little little width of material is guiding that saw down through the material right well that seems kind of cumbersome how are you gonna attach this to this just silly so what if we could reproduce a little slot like that on the back here without having to nail something to the board or clamp something to the board here's how to do that I mentioned clamping. Anytime you're doing handsaw work, it always helps 
to have some clamps holding your work steady. It's almost nothing worse than trying to chase a piece of lumber around your work surface because you don't have it clamped to anything. All right, so now we have the backs, what's going to be the back side, and I'm going to embark again on a little piece of sawmanship, and that is how to properly start a handsaw. We've all done this thing where we try to push and the saw blade jumps all over the place and by the time you finally get a good stroke in with the saw it's off of where your line wanted to be in the first place and then what do you do? Then you start all over again or you just keep pressing because you finally got the saw started. Here's how to avoid that. Back strokes. I'm not talking about swimming here. First off, take your finger, put it above where the teeth are so that you don't cut your finger steady your saw blade just to one side or the other of your line you don't ever want to cut your line because then you lose your guideline steady it and then pull the saw backwards now you have a nice little kerf I typically will do it at least twice maybe three times so that you have a nice spot for your saw to write in. There you go. Now it's perfectly where you wanted it. So now moving on to this new little trick that I've come up with. So what I want to do is I want to cut that little slot. I want to replicate this in the back of here. So really all I have to do is cut down an eighth of an inch or maybe even less that little kerf. Now since my saw blade is straight, my stroke is straight, this line, this kerf, is straight this way, right? Straight lengthwise. Well, we're going to rotate this, and now this little kerf is going to be perfectly straight vertically. So it's going to guide our saw. Rotate the work. Of course, reclamp, and we'll do it again. Now I have a starting point, right? Have that little bit of a kerf to just set my saw blade in, and I can get it started. Now here's where my method departs a little bit. Rather than keeping my saw at this 45 degree angle, I'm gonna follow the line First off, I'm going to just bite a little bit, a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more, and follow that line all the way across the material. So now we just go on about our business, making sure that we're lined up over here. And now as we cut, the saw is going to be guided by the little slot we made on the back side. It creates a path of least resistance that the saw will just naturally want to follow. All you need to concentrate on is following the line on the front. In fact, if you really wanted to get froggy, you could probably cut a slot on the front too and do it with your eyes closed. And now let's see how we did. With our little protractor set to 90. <laughs> it just doesn't get any better than that. Bring in nice and close. There we go. There's a perfect square cut on a 4x4 using a handsaw. So that's how you do it. Now please, make no mistake, I do not claim to be the expert, or an expert for that matter. I'm just somebody who really enjoys doing this stuff and consequently I frequently come up against things that I don't know how to do or don't know how to do well. So it forces me to go find the answer or learn the answer. And fortunately for you, I like to make videos about it. So I hope this was helpful to you. Please click that subscribe button down there somewhere. I can't see it, but you can. And click that thumbs up. I learned something about the thumbs up. It actually is helpful to the channel. If you click the thumbs up, it shows YouTube that you like the video, and YouTube is then more likely to recommend that video to somebody else, so that they too can cut a square cut with a handsaw. 
Thanks for your time, guys. I'll see you next time. Take care.